Hi, in this video, we will discuss about geometric means. Let's start. When we speak of geometric means, there is a first term and last term of a given geometric sequence. And all the numbers in between are what we call your geometric means. Ulit po, sila po yung number sa gitna ng ating first and last. Meron po tayong sequence na 2, 6, 18, 54, and 162. Identify mo po yung first term. Identify your last term. Automatic that all the numbers between are what we call the geometric means. Pwede pong isa lang yan. Pwedeng katulad po nito, tatlo. Pwedeng apat or pwedeng dalawa. Depende po kung ilan yung nandoon. Now, let's try to solve the problem. Paano po tayo magsosolve ng geometric means? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Yes po, same formula lang po. From here po kasi, we can derive the formula for the r. So kung makikita nyo po, if we derive that formula, we will now have here a sub n over a sub 1 equals r raised to n minus 1. So, paano po natin isosolve yung r raised to n minus 1? Kasi kailangan mo lang talaga dito common ratio to solve. So, to remove this exponent, kailangan po muna natin kunin yung root. Para makuha po yung root, yung both sides pong a sub n over a sub 1, tsaka yung ating r raised to n minus 1, kukunan po natin yan ng root, ganyan po. At yung root po na yun ay n minus 1 n minus 1. So, ang formula po na gagamitin natin is the n minus 1 root of a sub n over a sub 1. That is your r. So, samplean po natin dito sa first problem. Sabi po dito, insert 3 geometric means between 4 and 324. Ang una pong step dyan is to list down the terms. Meron ka dyang 4, tapos lagay po natin yung tatlong blanks kasi tatlong means. And our last term is 324. So in this case po, ayan na. Uh, kailangan po natin i-identify dito yung n, a sub n, and a sub 1. So ang n po natin, ilan lahat ang terms dyan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, ano naman po ang ating a sub n? Ang a sub n ay ang ating last term, a sub 5, which is 324. And lastly, our a sub 1 is 4. So, since meron ka na pong uh, given, now you have to rewrite your formula. So, rewrite muna natin. Diba, it's the n minus 1 root of a sub n over a sub 1 equals r. So, pag sinabstitute natin yan, we have there 5 minus 1, yan na yung root, and your a sub n, 324 over 4 equals r. So, isolve lang po natin yung r dito. So, solve natin yung r, ibig sabihin, solve mo na yan, isolve mo na rin po yung nasa loob. So, you have there, 4th root of 81 equals r. So, ayan, nakita na po natin, 4th root of 81. Pag 4th root po, lagi po tayong mag-start sa maliliit na numbers. Try mo yung muna si 2, tapos si 3, si 4, si 5, and si 6. Usually, yung maliliit na numbers lang naman po yung ginagamit dito. So, since 4th root, so apat na beses mong imumultiply sa sarili, ang sagot dapat ay 81. So, 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16. O, mali agad. Now, try 3. 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. So, correct na tayo doon. Hindi, ang sagot dito ay 3 for our R. But, take a look at this one. Since ito po ay 4th root, even exponent, ibig pong sabihin, ang ating final answer ay positive at negative. Ibig sabihin, ang R natin pwedeng positive 3 or ang R natin pwede ding negative 3. Since dalawa po ang value natin ng r, ibig pong sabihin, dalawa po ang geometric sequence natin dito. So, umpisan po natin when r is equal to positive 3. Again, ang sequence po natin kanina is 4, blank, 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 324. So, ang sabi, magta times 3 ka lang as your common ratio. So, 4 times 3, 12 times 3, 36 times 3, 
108 at kapag tinimes 3 mo, tama pa ding 324. So, yan ang una nyo pong sequence. Kapag ka gumamit naman tayo ng R equals negative 3, yan, when your R is negative 3, so again, sulat muna natin 4, blank, 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 and 324. Katulad po kanina, multiply lang po natin ang common ratio times negative 3. So, this is negative 12. Times negative 3, positive 36. Times negative 3, this becomes negative 108. And times negative 3, ang sagot ay 324. Let's try another example. So, sa example po uli natin, meron ako insert two geometric means between 12 and 768. Again, ang step 1 natin, isulat ang iyong sequence 12 blank blank 768. And tandaan natin, huwag natin kakalimutan ang formula natin. This is the n minus 1 root of a sub n over a sub 1 for your r. So, derivation lang po yan ng ating formula. So, since yan po ang kailangan natin ay n, makikita nyo po sa sequence, 1, 2, 3, 4, apat ang ating terms. a sub 1 natin ay 12. And our a sub n, or yung dulo natin, a sub 4, ay 768. Yan. So, after po nito, again, may formula tayo on the side. We can rewrite our formula again. So, we have there n minus 1. Yan yung ating root. So, a sub n over a sub 1 equals r. Substitution, we now have there 4 minus 1 root of a sub n 768 divided by a sub 1 12 which is equal to r. So, solve na po uli natin ang ating root, nth root, at saka ang ating nasa loob ng radical sign. So, that becomes cube root. 768 divided by 12, ang sagot ay 64. So, equals R. Katulad po ng ginawa natin, paano kumuha ng root? Again, simulan po natin sa maliliit na numbers. So, simulan uli natin kay 2. 2 times 2 times 2, dapat ang sagot 64. Eh, ang sagot 8. So, mali. Pag 3 naman, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. Mali uli. Try ko po si 4 times 4, 16 times 4, oops, ayun na, 64. So, ibig sabihin po, ang cube root po ng 64 ay 4. Yan. Dito po, mapapansin nyo, cube root siya, odd number. So, isa lang po talaga ang common ratio niyan. Okay? Hindi po positive-negative. So, paano po uli natin isosolve yung sequence? I-rewrite, you have there 12, blank, blank, and... 768. So, again, your common ratio here is 4. So, multiply lang po natin ang 4. 12 times 4 is 48. 48 times 4 is 192. Kapag nahihirapan kayo, pwede kayong mag-calculator, ha? 192 times 4, dapat lumabas pa rin po dyan ay 768. Para ma-verify ninyo kung tama yung sagot nyo o hindi. Now, kapag naghahanap po tayo ng geometric mean, tapos isa lang ang geometric mean na yun, as in isa lang sa gitna, may shortcut po tayo. Ito po. Paano? Ito lang. I-multiply mo daw silang dalawa, get the square root at positive negative yung sagot. Sagot na po agad yung lalabas, hindi na common ratio. So, if I try it with 8 and 72, so try natin, 8 times 72, kukunin ko lang daw ang square root, tapos positive negative. Yun na daw yung gitna niya. So, there you have, ang laki nung 8 times 72, di ba? Parang hala, paano kukunin yung square root nun? So, eto po ang ating geometric mean. So, lagay ko na lang dito ay mean, kasi gitna. Yan. So, Since ayoko mag-calculator at masyadong malaki, ang gagawin ko na lang po, ifa-factor ko si 72. So, dito po, si 8, dyan lang muna yan. Sa 72, ang factors niyan, 8 tsaka 9. Okay? Ayan, uh, ma malinaw po dito kung ano yung square root nila. So, dito po, I can write positive negative square root of 8 squared times 9. O, dahil square root lang po yan, eto po, oh, 
8 squared. Di ba po ang square root niyan ay 8 din? And sa 9 naman po, ang square root ng 9 ay 3. So, i-multiply ko lang yan, ayun na yung sagot sa ating mean. So, that is, mean is now equal to positive negative 24. O, i-try po natin kung tama yung sagot. So, again, 8 blank and 72. Shortcut po ito ha. So, papakita ko po gamit ang ating calculator. Ayan. So, try po natin. Actually, wala po tayo ditong common ratio. Ilalagay ko lang po agad dito ang 24. Okay, para makuha natin yung common ratio. So, 24 divided by 8, ang sagot, oh, ang R mo daw ay 3. Patunayan natin, paano naman kapag 72 divided by 24? Yan, ang R din natin ay 3. So, ibig sabihin, tama po ang sagot na 24. Diretso sagot. Again, Dahil po meron tayong negative, pwede rin pong ang sequence ay 8, negative 24, and 72. So, dito naman, since nakita nyo, nagbago ng sign, automatic ang R mo ay negative 3.